Hey, welcome back to Planet Crafter, everybody. GMO here. And we are still working on our insects, which, according to the devs, are not in here yet. So, <clears throat> I don't think any of that matters. <laughs> we did get our next level. We now have the uh, Tree Spreader T3, which I put a whole ton of the... T spreader T2s out there. I did move a few things around in the base to uh, make it a little bit more manageable. I put the desks over here and our view screens on here <clears throat> to make it a little bit, I guess, more friendly for us. And I don't know why I never moved this one. This is a T1. Uh, uh, veggie tube but as you can see our planet is coming along slowly but surely <clears throat> so we can go ahead and make those tree spreader tubes and I've been making the trees I'm putting them in here little by little throwing a few things in here and now actually I did discover up here, oh, I hate when it does that, where we have our recipes for our trees, but there's one thing that's not up there. It's this one here with using the golden seed. We'll grab that and a bark. Oh, by the way, there are 11 golden chests, just in case you didn't notice. Um, I do have, I did find all 11 of them and grab them all. There's a ton of guys out there that are doing those. So, well, anyways, for these, uh, tree seeds, what you need to do is put in your flower seed bark and your Mutagen. Oh, I had a. Oh, there was already a tree seed in there. And a mutagen. Hit research. Now, this one didn't have anything in there. Now, that comes up with a whole brand new seed that's not even on the list. And it'll go ahead and make it. And it takes a while to make. But if you have one of these uh, little tree farms, I recommend going in here all the time and grabbing the bark. This way you don't have to wait for the bark when you need it. Then I've just been throwing the bark in here. In here. And originally I was throwing it in this one here. That's why there's so much bark in here. And of course, I got a ton of flower seeds in here, not counting all the ones I've already turned into trees. And you can still get the flowers because when you launch rockets for uh, seeding the planet, it does put other flower seeds out there. But let's go ahead and make these <clears throat> and change the other ones out. So we need... The uh, bacteria, bark, two fertilizer twos, and a zeta lighter, however you pronounce that. I have made a lot of this fertilizer. I like to do things in advance. And bacteria. We'll make three of these up to change out the other ones. Um, what else was needed for that? Uh, bark, zeolite. Wait a minute, did the other one take that too? Oh, you know what? When we scrap the other ones, we'll get some of that back. Because there's no need to keep the other ones if we're going to make these new ones. Take this tree seed out. Yeah. 
And then we should have enough resources now to make this one. And then we can put that back in it. And this should produce more oxygen. Yeah. Now, I've been trying to keep them far enough away so it doesn't crowd up our uh, base too much. I'm going to grab a couple other fertilizers. Because I think that that is the only difference between the two, right? Uses the same resources except one more fertilizer. Oh, that's not bad. We just grab the extra fertilizer then. We don't need the bacteria. Just need the fertilizer. Well, heck, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I like to stock up on resources. Yeah, as you can see, I put a bunch of these way far away from the base. Oh, I'll show you what the golden seed. I made a golden seed uh, flower, or uh, trees. That's these. These are supposed to be the golden seeds uh, trees. That was these here. Okay, there should be a couple other ones around here. Right there. Where is this? Seems like whenever you do anything around here, the planet changes. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move this back a little bit. This way. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll give us some more air. That's a T3, I think. Is that one? Is that a T2 or a T3? I can't tell. And this is a T1 here. We can actually get rid of these. <clears throat> the ones that are in the water. That's a T2. We're getting there. Well, that's a weird looking tree. Well, I figured in this episode, is that a T1? Uh, oh, we're low on oxygen. Ah, oh, crap. Where are we? Okay, there should be a box around here somewhere. Oh, we didn't make it. Now I gotta find my body. There should be a blue box somewhere around. Where'd we die? We were almost back. There it is. Oh, I hate when that happens. 
Well, at least you really don't lose much when you die. I'm gonna get some water. Oh, I gotta reoxygenate. I have noticed something though in this game. <clears throat> if you notice our oxygen right now is at 75. Now if I went and put down a bunch of mines, our oxygen would drop. It takes away our oxygen. It's really weird on why it does that. Let's grab some more fertilizer. Uh, we don't need the fertilizer one. We'll use that to make fertilizer two. Oh, oh. give me the bark. We might need that. Let me put the bioplastics in here. And I think I got T1s and T2s over here. I think this is a T1. Doesn't say T1 or T2 on it. This has got to be a T1. Because it's in the water. Oh, what are we shy? Oh, yeah, that's right. T1s didn't have any uh, uh, zeolite. And that, I wish we could mine that somewhere instead of just finding little bits and pieces of it. Oops, wrong one. Because that one is a rarity to find. But... This episode, I want to start putting down some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Or uh, shooting up some mines, or mines, shooting up some rockets. Okay. Yeah, it's T2. Oops. And we'll put that one in there. Okay, and we're out of fertilizer. Grab the water. Oops. That's what I wanted to hit. Um, oh, I wasn't, I thought I was low on water. Well, we do have one tree here. Put the bark in there. Yeah, that one's full, throw it in the overflow. Yeah, I made a few rocket engines too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am a little overstocked on a few things, if you can tell. <laughs> yeah, when you get a lot of uh, uh, uranium, just turn it into rods. Because you can always throw the rod back in a recycler and get it back. Oh, that's, where, oh, that's right. That's the extra... 
How am I getting rid of water? Um, where did I put the extra water at? Uh, I just sort over here with the uh, algae. Oh, I'm low on algae too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick algae again soon. But let's launch some rockets. Uh oh, hydration's low. I'm not running out to the lake. I just grab one of these. And food. Um, I don't know when the next uh, update comes. If food is going to be a big priority, you know the eggplants, the mushrooms. So this is my food growing area, where I have the beans, the mushrooms, the eggplants, uh, yada yada yada. Where I've been picking them all and putting them in their own little um little areas. Now the beans are the only thing I've been eating. Oh man, hiccups. Beans are the only things I've been eating, but of course you don't really eat that much of it. And I have five tubes of each. These are the just two uh, the T1s. T1s take a little bit longer to grow, but I don't come up here that often, and these things are all fully grown. So I just come up here every so often and pick them. I got the T2s down here, but these are strictly the eggplant. Because right now in this version of the game, eggplant is the most popular because you need that for the fertilizer. For the fertilizer T2, you only need one squash, but you need two eggplants. So, of course, grow a lot of eggplant. Okay, uh, rockets. Let's grab some cobalt or silicone. No, no. It was cobalt. Yeah, and silicone. We need three cobalt and three silicone. And let's see. I'm trying to remember this. I uh, need two rocket engines. Uh, just grab super alloy out of here. I think that was it. I'm going to launch a uranium rocket and a um, iridium rocket. I think I got everything. I think. Because these just deliver heat and pressure. And we get a few extras. And then we'll launch a uh, biomass rocket. And then we'll launch a, uh, a seed rocket. These will drop, we'll start seeing flowers here and there that we can uh, pick. Now those flowers are actually 450%. And I've been using those to make tree seeds. Now one thing you might want to notice here, I don't know, I haven't noticed any other uh, players have, have played. If you look, my levels here on how high the bottom number is. I haven't seen anybody else that has an immensely high number like these. Um, now the top numbers, yeah, they got real high numbers there. But my bottom numbers are going through the roof. And I don't know if it's because of the amount of rockets I've been launching. Because the rocket gives you a thousand percent every time you launch them. And I just keep launching rockets. Now this one's going to give me uh, uranium. Now, <clears throat> somebody said that this stuff will disappear. Or despawn. I found that incorrect. Because I've found uridium on the planet long time later. Now, if you probably if you log off 
and then you and then you log back in yeah it might despawn all right where are they impacting oh way over there that means I'm gonna go swimming okay well that's doing that we're gonna build that rocket Yeah, these are going to be lake ones. Mm, maybe not. I hear other impacts. I could have went in and checked the scope. Woo! That was a close one. Most of it looks like lake impacts. Now the other thing I did discover is once I launch this rocket, most of the debris from that rocket will be gone, or from those asteroids will be gone. I gotta go get some air. Oh man, those trees are getting closer. They're all the way over here. Woo, that's real close. Oh, I should have grabbed some air from the methane tanks. I'll grab a couple extra airs. I didn't realize those trees were getting that close. That's why I was planting those trees so far away. I didn't want them that close. But, hey, I guess, I guess you got to deal with whatever. Yeah, they're hitting real close. And they do hurt you. I've had them hit the base, and then you see the rubble inside the base. That's pretty funny. But I've gotten a couple doors to get in and out of here. I got another door back here. Because, uh... I've been locked out of the base too many times. Need to make another door in here too, just in case. I mean, I got, there's just so many resources. All right, we'll t check the lake first. So I grab the extra oxygen cans. That's why I can stay out for a while. Oh, we've seen some impacts way over there. As you can see, it's so easy to see in the water. I love it when they hit the water. And then I'll, I'll just turn all this into rods. So when I need it, I can just recycle them. I'm going to have to wait for that to dissipate. I just go around whenever to get them. There's no big rush, really. And there's not much use right now for the uranium. Or uranium, I mean. Because of, uh, oh. Whoa. Eh, nothing in there really of use. I mean, we'll take the food packs. But the rest of that, not necessary. Another container? Is that the same one? No, that's a different one. Where are these coming from? I gotta check stream, see if there was an update, because this has got ice in it too. I haven't seen ice in a long time. Oh, uh, we're over here. I really haven't seen ice, unless these are just ones I just didn't see before. 
Yeah, that thing was impacting over here. There it is. And see, all the stones are gone now. They'll disappear real quick when you launch another rocket. Or I should say when you launch a meteor or rocket that's going to send meteors. Oh, I'm running low on air. And I don't, like I said, I really don't need this. I just do it just, just to do it. I've launched so many uh, ones for oxygen and biomatter. Oh, that's our original ship. Okay, things are hitting over here. Nope. Right there. Let's go unload this real quick. Uh, I think that's full, isn't it? Yep, that's full. Uh, where can I dump this? Yeah. Oh, I got food on me too. Give me that air back. Eh, just run back out. Because that's full. Where did those other ones hit? Oh, I had some hits here. This should be uh, iridium. And I don't see any. Oh my god. That came all the way up to the base? Okay, we're going to be in a jungle then. Those T3s. Holy moly, if I would have known those T3s were going to be that bad. I would have just moved them further back. Holy cow. Oh man, it's going to be even harder to find these meteors now. But, like I said, these do not despawn. I have not found them to despawn. I don't know if it will despawn when you log off either. Because I've, I have found uh, these kind of resources. Well, that was weird. 
uh, later on. I can't remember if it was after I've logged on and off or not. Well, I'm getting a lot of resources from these rockets. wonder if they changed it. They definitely changed the, uh, well, I, I, it's the first time I put a T3 out. I'm going to have to put these things further out. Because, man, that thing is a jungle. From the ground, it's going to be harder to find the uh, base. I need a spaceship. I think I might move those T3s further out. Because uh, they are just a little bit overcrowded in here now. I get a drink of water. That's pretty cool looking, but... It's definitely overcrowded. Makes it a little harder to see. It looks cool, but... Yeah, I'm not even worried about picking up the rest of that stuff. I'll find it eventually. I just wanted to launch rockets. <laughs> Oversized kid, what can I say? I'll throw another one in the... These, these are actually okay to eat. Um, but the, uh, the beans are better. Yeah, we're getting low on the iridium. Or iridium, however you want to pronounce that. Oh, how did I pick up? I must have picked that up by mistake. Okay, um, actually I just dump all that in there for now. Call that a dump chest. I'll take that air back though. Oh, I can get that out of there. I don't think magnesium's full. Oh, I could be wrong. That's the overload for sulfur. This is my overload for everything. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, trying to remember the recipe for biomass and oxygen. Uh, biomass needs bark <clears throat> or oxygen does one of the two and I think it needs mutagen or bacteria um, I got bacteria and I know one of them needs fertilizer uh, and of course they all need super element take a few of these um, let's go see what it needs. Man, it's going to be harder to fly around here. Let's see what we need for this. Alright, uh, biomass. Oh, and that needs a lima seed. Oh, let's see what the other one needs. Oh, that need, just needs bark and the mutagen. Okay. Oh man, it's right in front of the door. Can you walk through it? Okay. It's like some kind of weird planet we're on. And everything's going to be attacking. Oh, uh, lima seed. I'm running low on lima seeds. Even though those things were so abundant, I've just been going through them like mad. Launching rockets. <laughs> okay, uh, we got to make a mutagen. Mutagen is bacteria. Okay, piece of cake. Uh, did we have an extra bacteria on us? No. I got plenty of bacteria. Organize that a little bit. There you go. Um, and methane. Oh, I got to start collecting my methane again. And sulfur. This is the extra sulfur. 
Let's make a mutagen. I gotta make a bunch of mutagen up too. That for the trees. It's rocket launching time. Uh, go biomass first. Yeah, I don't know if this is actually helping the planet, hurting the planet, or what, but. Uh, oh, wrong button. I'm just launching. Oh, it's going sideways. Uh oh. That's the first time that happened. I think we're killing, I'm killing the planet. I've never seen a rocket go sideways. Well, maybe I'm just overloading the planet. Uh oh, what am I short? Oh, I'm short a super element. That's the first time a rocket went sideways. I think I broke something. <laughs> Morning hydration. Doggone, I just took a drink not too long ago. Man, I can't even see. Where's my rocket at? Oh, nighttime launch, no problem. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Wonder if I can jump on one of them. Now that one's going sideways too. Oh man, I broke something for sure. Cause now they're all going sideways. Oh man. I check my board. Yeah, see, because I don't, you know, when you get to this point in the game, it's like, what do you do next? I mean, I could keep planting those trees or flowers or whatever but you it's like okay and the funny thing is everybody else that i've watched they're way past me and they weren't on insects yet i'm on insects and i haven't gotten to oh this uh uh what is it this fusion cell thing to get into the reactors yeah, this thing here. The fusion energy cell. Everybody else already had that to get into the reactor. That's the only thing I have left to do. And I have all these. I keep finding these. And they won't open up. Uh, let's see. Which is it this one? Yeah. There's no more technology. We have to wait until, I guess, the next uh, update before we can open up any more technology. So it's like, I really don't know what to do next. I mean, I'm still having fun. Um, I pretty much, I think I found everything. Well, every time I say that, I find something new. And I'm going to just keep doing stuff. I mean, it's no problem to me. I'm going to move these trees because this is ridiculous trying to fly through here. 
And I keep flying around looking for those uh, flowers. I'm really hoping to find one to show you guys. In case you haven't seen one. No, it wasn't one. And there is a uh, cave up here that is known for super element. That I built a little outpost right outside the cave. Where I get air, I just use that uh, the bigger box thing. And I'm going to put a bunch of uh, storage boxes in. This is a super element cave. We can get super element. I also got a small box in here. And this produces super element. But you have to have the T2 drill for. And of course it's completely overloaded with stuff. Well that was a good haul for super element. Uh, I barely got any iron out of that. Wow. Yeah, I build these boxes everywhere. You got any iron in here? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, give me some more iron. I'm gonna take the iron to the other box and see if I can build some storage boxes over there. Yeah, I can. Is that empty? Yeah, it is. Take that one with me. So I wanted to build a forward base here. A nice little window you can look out of. Oh, that's the first time one of these things actually faced the right way. One of these can't build. Nope, only two. Throw all that in there. Just give me the air. I'm gonna go look, see if I can find a couple flowers. This is a. Oh, is there anything left in this? Uh, yeah, there was some aluminum. We'll take that. Can I deconstruct this? Nope. Oh, no zeolite there. Oh yeah, I forgot I put a, a T2 tree over here. Yeah, I think they're going to be doing something with this area. I don't know what yet. I think this is where I found my last flower, too. Oh, see you later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that stuff pops up every so often. And I'm hoping they have an area where you can harvest it. There was a gold chest over here, by the way. It was in a tricky area. There you go. This is one of the plants that you can harvest. You just go up to it and pick it. Oops. And it goes into your inventory right there. Oh, and this is a 500 now. They were 450s. And that's from launching the seed thing. Oh, another box. Anything in it? No. Already emptied it. Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure I still had air on me. Oh, well, I'm down here. Get a little water. Yeah, that's how I keep replenishing my uh, flowers. Is I keep finding them after I launch a uh, flower thing into the atmosphere. Oh, 
No, oh, I won't need to use that air cartridge. Okay, let's see. Organize Ant will leave this here. Uh, yeah, we'll take that back with us. We'll take all this. We definitely want to take the super element. We really don't need to the super element back at the base, but we don't need it here either. Not when we have the super element mine here. And I think I'm going to start making those uh, uh, T2 food machine things at every one of my little outposts. So in case I'm low on food, I'll have them. Because we have plenty of those seed packs. I have more seed packs I know what to do with. And yes, I am always looking for flowers. Because the ones we have at the base, those are only like the 150s. And of course, the higher ones are the better ones. Oh, here you go. See what I mean? They do not disappear and we really don't need it but it's here I'm gonna take it uh, I can get out of here <laughs> it's a jungle out here now let's well, see if you give it a little while you come out you should be able to find your stuff I didn't see much iridium though. We really didn't get much iridium. Got more uranium than anything. Which means we haven't seen much of it. Um, do we pass it here? Right there. Alright, that was full. Uh, let's see, overflow. I don't know. Oh, yeah. We started getting low on aluminum. No, uh, I spoke too soon. I was going to say we started getting low on aluminum, but guess not. Yeah, store that in there. Got some extra seeds. Uh, go over here. Put that in there. Um, plants. Yes, I am all over. Like a fart in a windstorm. Seeds, seeds. Oh, that's not seeds. What is that doing in there? Hmm. Don't belong in there. Okay. Yeah, I throw up my junk. Uh, my junk. Junk drawer. Try to figure out what to do with it. All right. Should we launch more rockets? <laughs> like I said, I really don't know what to do. And like I said, this where it says we're eleven point eight one now on insects. I get a feeling when the update comes. No matter where we're at on insects, it's going to start back over at zero. I think everybody will. Because otherwise, you know, anybody that's like in the 80s, they'll instantly have insects. And I think what they need to do, because like with trees, um, we have this. And we have the bark, and then we have to use a manipulator. I think what they need to do is have, um, like with the insects, have like a larvae lab. Where you have to take the larvae and mix the larvae in like a mutator to create ants and stuff like that. 
That's what they need to do. Actually, I need to send that into the feedback because uh, that would be the only way I can see doing it. Well, actually, either way, even if you get past insects, because I was past trees, yet I didn't have any trees out there. But I really don't know what else to do. I mean, I keep launching rockets, and I don't know how to get my terraforming level up unless I just keep building stuff. And I build any more around here, and I'm not going to be able to see around here. I mean, I don't... See, that's the weird thing is, I don't think... I don't know if I need more heat or pressure to get the terraforming up because... Oh, wrong one. Because of this. Because we already have, under heat and pressure, everything is done. You figure we would still have something else to go. Same thing with oxygen. Everything was done. The only thing we're waiting on is terraform. Oops. And, of course, it stops. And it's such a high level up to get this last thing. And actually, it doesn't really make a difference because the last thing we get just gives us more resources. Some pulsar crystals and stuff like that. Some rocket engines. And I know a lot of people got upset when they got into those other rooms that you can't get into without this. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Because there was no notes or nothing in there. But... It's, I mean, it's a work in progress. <laughs> That's why I'm looking out for the future. That building you just seen me build that was uh, built over there near the uh, super alloy. I'm going to build a couple other buildings, outposts, and prepare for the next coming. When they have the next update, I'll have outposts built because you know it's going to be further on because of, uh, where's the map? Oh, low on water. Yeah, good drink. Oh, freezed up. Game froze. Okay, there it goes. Um, because they got a big area to, to play with here. We're down here. I'm estimating this is us here. This, I think, is a Stargate. They got this big area over here that's open. They got all this. This is that new lake area. And I got a feeling something's going to be over here. There was a guy that did something I was watching. He went all the way to the corner of the map. I think it took him uh, five or six oxygen tanks to get there. Because he spotted something. Because he hit, over here he built this tower a hundred uh, things high. And he found something in the corner, so he had to. He wanted to go check it out, so he flew all the way over there. And it looked like they were going to build something there for the next update. It was a long way away. Well, you know, who knows? You never know. So I'm preparing for making little outposts, even if they're just a little two-by-twos that... I'll have air, I'll have resources in it, and I'll be prepared to keep going. I'm not going to whine about it, I'm having too much fun. Oh, he's hungry again. I got plenty of food. And resources for me, I have food, I have water. Oh, yeah, I was going to grab methane. And I got to chop down trees. Look at that. Holy crap. And I'm going to make some more of these methane things because uh, I go through a lot of methane lately. And I'm not talking about the backside. <laughs> and I like the idea with those oxygen tanks. But yeah, I, I've been stocking up. And if you're playing this game, that's what you need to do. Stock up on stuff. I mean, look at the fertilizer. I, well, I had a whole bunch of the T2 fertilizer I made. 
Make regular fertilizer. Then stock up. Make fertilizer T2. Stock up on the foods. If uh, you know you don't need the eggplant, you can eat the eggplant. It's food. That's all you gotta do. I mean, the super element, super easy to make. Same thing with rocket engines, super easy. And my little trick with compacting the uranium down, and same thing with the iridium, compact the iridium down into rods. And before I started making all the rocket engines, this thing was almost full of rods. Well, look at look at how full this thing is of rods. And the pulsar quartz, I mean, those are a little bit harder to make because you need the zeolite. I can always make go back to making uh, those other generators for power. But power right now, I mean, because of everything I got going, I'm down to 285 kilowatts. So if I have to make nuclear reactors again, so be it. I mean, look at how much I got. And I can always launch rockets to get more uranium. Because <laughs> what does it take to make those? I mean, uh, where is it at? Eh. Uh, Three rods, explosive powder, water, and a super alloy. Uh, yeah, I think I got that covered. I could probably make, uh, what, eight of those things right now? <laughs> but yeah, you, know, you, you got to have fun with the game. And don't worry about when you uh, reach its current end. It's not the end of the game. It's like uh, these lights... I watched a guy, he took these lights and he put them in the ships so he could see. Because uh, this light here, that's not really that bright. But he put them in the ships so he can see. Actually, I should put those make those lights for in here because you can't see crap in here. So, if you have this game... This is a great game. It really is. Enjoy it. Actually, I could take most of these. Uh, just screw it. Leave it in there. Oh, yeah. This thing should be done. There it is. That is your gold seed tree. It's a 200%. Everything else up here is a 125 to a 150 the gold seed is the only thing that uh, hits 200. And yeah, I really should plant those trees, but I don't know if I want them anywhere near my base now. Because uh, it's got this crap all over the place. Man, look at that. I gotta figure out which one that was. Uh, get on top of my base. Because... I didn't want that stuff so close. Uh, can I get over here, please? Thank you very much. Wow. It's hard to see because it's nighttime, but what a jungle. Yeah, I'm, I might disassemble, disassemble the T3s. And move them out a little bit. Maybe move them on the back side of the aluminum field. On the back side there. Actually the lake that I said might be a, uh, a new expansion. Oh man. Because this is the only, f uh, the, bi the best flat area. And this is just, those T3s are just way overgrown. Actually, I think I just got too many of them back here because I, replacing those T2s with the T3s I think was just too much. All right, well, I'm going to call this episode here. Um, I'm, Like I said, I'm still having fun with it. And uh, if you guys like this episode, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next Planet uh, Crafter. Till then, goodbye for now.